Everybody wants just a little redemption Everybody needs just a little affection Everybody lives Everybody heals Everybody wants just a little connection Everybody needs just a little attention Everybody hurts Everybody heals It's a place that you need to be prepared, like to be outside everything, and and it's beautiful. It's like everybody when first time when you arrive, it's like wow, like it's between the mountains and so isolated and so calm. And the only thing you hear is like birds in the morning and cows, and that's all. And yeah. It's amazing. Eco Camille is, for me is a, is a life project where um, I've put all my dreams together of living, working and uh, spending time together with my, my family. Um, I've spent quite a few years working in different areas and I'm sure that this is what we are looking for, a project where uh, we make our hands dirty, we farm, we build, we create, we help uh, other people and um, live in harmony, we sustain ourselves. For me that's the, the essence of Eco Camillas and sharing that with other people for me is the, the purpose of, of being here. A few years ago I decided to change my life and do something better for the world, you know. I believe we exist on the planet uh, with a purpose to develop ourselves. And I think this is the excellent environment for that. And by receiving people with the same mindset, I think we can achieve amazing things. And that for me is the, yeah, the goal of Ecocomius. We, get, we got a, a nice life here. Everybody's sociable, we are friends. It's it's people from all around the world, so we can get to know each other and get to know about different culture, and that's awesome. É, meu nome é Vanessa. É, eu tô aqui desde julho, né? E eu, por que eu vim para cá? É, por conta da oportunidade de eu aprender mais sobre permacultura, bioconstrução. É, e também da oportunidade de conviver com outras pessoas que também querem aprender sobre permacultura e trocar experiência também. It's been really good experience at staying in a homestay family. Um, they've been really welcoming, really generous. Cooks us lots of amazing food. So much food. So much yeah. food. Um, and also, uh, staying in a family has really helped us with our Portuguese as well. They've been really welcoming, so they've invited us to lots of parties. You've met quite a lot of their family. So barbecues. Barbecues. Football. Um, football, yeah. All sorts of things. So, uh, yeah, great experience getting to practice so much Portuguese and meeting those different people. It's been really good. Uh, right now I'm working with uh, with Tom, we're building some windows. 
we're using recycled uh, train track wood. Um, so this is, uh, this is really strong hardwood um, and it's been pressure treated so it stands up really well to the elements. And uh, we're, we're grabbing this wood and right now we're cutting it in half. So we, we're using uh, one technique now which is cutting it with a chainsaw. Um, but the challenge is there's a few large lag bolts that are basically giant screws that are stuck in the middle. So even when we cut it in half, we have to cut around these bolts with a chainsaw and then we have to split it. So it's quite the process. Um, and today what we've been doing is we've been taking that, that raw wood, um, the train track wood, and we've been kind of cleaning up a bit. So we've got a hand planer, we've got a sander, we've got a circular saw, and we're kind of uh, shaping the wood now, I guess you could say. So we're, our new design has slope built into some of the window sills, so any water that hits the window would be sloping away from the house. We're incorporating a drip edge, which would keep the water away from the cob. Um, so we're kind of playing with that right now. Um, and already we've seen that uh, there's a few things we can improve for next time, um, but that's kind of how it goes when you're, we're building and designing at the same time. So Before I saw this, I wouldn't have believed that it was possible to build something so grand without, you know, without cement or without having to spend a lot of money on construction, but they've locally farmed a lot of the materials they've used. And for me, it's always been my dream to sort of build my own house. I don't know where, I don't know when, but I know I do want to build my own house. So seeing how they've done this here and with a low impact to the environment is quite baffling for me. Uh, so it has really inspired me. So you see, this is the grass we want to put in the, in the cup. Uh -huh. This is uh, the, the long stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, when, when you put this in the cob, it prevents the cob from creating big cracks. So the cob will actually crack all over the place, but when the grass is in, uh -huh. it will just form only really small cracks all, all over. And the small cracks are not a big uh, problem, the big cracks are. Yeah, we, we, we try to get people to, you know, be responsible for the tool they're using and responsible for the job they're doing and, and think a little bit about uh, what they're about to do. and what they need and, and kind of that kind of stuff so yeah I mean if you if you t take on some 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 tasks you know you need to think ahead and I think think that's a part of the the, the, the whole program here so you get that respons responsibility we talk about it you know you plan ahead and you get the job done and be rewarded for it. We need the grass to go with the cob, you know, and the grass needs to, be, needs to be dry. So, and if you want to start next week on Monday, we need to cut the, today and tomorrow so it can dry and then, you know, we collect it on Monday. It was a big decision for me to, to go here, actually. I had a lot of problems with myself uh, when I was in Holland. So it was time to make a change. So yeah, and then I found this project. Yeah, it, it really helped me a lot. I learned, uh, yeah, I learned a lot of things about myself. And this place is just amazing to refresh your mind. Yeah, so it's, it's really chilled out, uh, everyone's really chill and sort of, um, we all get along, I'd say, so it's, uh, it's a close-knit community. Um, uh, yeah, we've got a shared, shared kitchen living room, we've got some, some showers and uh, shared rooms and it's, it's all good. So Cobb is, I believe, one of the oldest building materials there is, apart from maybe stone. Uh, I was reading today that the first remains of a Cobb structure date back about 10,000 years ago. So basically, at the same time that we started farming, we started also building houses out of earth. And it's basically just clay, sand and hay and water mixed together um, to either make adobe bricks uh, which are just cob bricks basically or cob 
like we use here, which is just lumps of clay and sand put onto a wall, shaped into a wall shape, and it's just super strong building material. So just for you to understand, like in the house behind us, there is 75 cubic meters of, of cob uh, in there. It's physical work, the days you work here, yeah? so uh, be prepared that uh, uh, you, know, you will be tested if you're, if you're not used to physical work. But it's also very satisfying in my view to see that you uh, realize something during the day and really are participating in that, in that group process. And then when you really start to work the clay, it becomes like this. Mm -hmm. And that's all the clay coming to the surface, all the clay molecules kind of going flat. And that's when, when they're flat, they're much easier to it sticks better, basically. So my vision is um, a self-sustaining eco-farm. Uh, we want to, we are building uh, eco-lodges to receive uh, tourism. We also want to build a compound uh, for volunteers, also all by construction build. Uh, we want to uh, produce organic, organic products to sustain ourselves. The idea exact, exactly on the long term is to be completely self-sufficient. Uh, we want to generate our own energy uh, and that means that we want to become energy neutral. So all the energy we consume will be produced by natural local resources, sun, water, forest uh, or, uh, or wind. Um, and uh, we want to impact the community, which means we want to collaborate with the local community we are thinking of uh, having children and youth involved in, in vocational training for, for younger kids who have uh, limited possibilities in life. Uh, but at the same time, we also like to receive people internationally uh, and share our knowledge and spread uh, the seeds and plant them elsewhere and, and so people uh, spread, spread uh, a more ecological and balanced life uh, elsewhere, uh, elsewhere on the planet. Bom, aqui na Eco Caminhos nós temos alguns tipos de programas de voluntariado. Nós temos o Eco Experience e nós temos uh, o Grupo Experience, que é para pessoas que têm interesse de vir aqui participar com a gente na Eco Fazenda e fazer também turismo. Nós temos o short term, que são pessoas que têm interesse de ficar na ecofazenda um tempo mais curto. Nós temos o long term, que é também, ou pode ser parcial, ou pode ser tempo integral. O parcial, as pessoas participam algumas horas da semana aqui com a gente. E o integral, as pessoas moram na casa dos voluntários e participam de tempo integral aqui da, da Eco Caminhos. Nós temos também o um programa de reabilitação para pessoas em depressão. E todas essas informações as pessoas podem encontrar melhor descritas no nosso site.